Here we go again with more DoD Talia in Pro Cycling Mania Season 2013. This time, once again, it's going uphill from Lugo to Sestola over the at the end is at Paso de Lupo, famous mountain in Italy. And well, we'll get the stage started and hopefully we can advance some more places in the general classifications. Of course, I have, I'm going for a top 10 placement with Jakob Fulsang. But it's looking pretty difficult, I have to say. Top 5 is the goal for the sponsors, but uh, I simply think that's too unrealistic, especially considering the, the start I've gotten so far and the, and the riders I'm competing against. I really don't think I have much of a chance. And I'm under can't be underestimated, the can't be underestimated tab once again, which means that I should be just outside of the top 10 finish. Everything goes to according to the stats and the shape P line. I, f I actually think they only consider stats when they use these favorites. They don't consider shape and how tired you are and how fresh you are. They only and rhythm. They only consider your stats. So it, it's, the favorites is basically just guys who have best mountain stats. That's pretty much it. And I'm. So, luckily enough in top 15, but <laughs> I really should be in top 5 if I had any chance at all. So I'm, I'm currently thinking about what my strategy should be for this, this day. It's a uh, flat for about the first 100 kilometers or so, and then uh, it goes quite uphill for a category 2 climb and then downhill for a while and then another category 2 climb and then it goes really uphill at the end there's an actual little flat bit before the final climb you can see if I can move the mouse up here yeah. this bit would be a nice bit to relax your legs but if, of course if you make it like this is actually I think this would be a very important bit because if you make it across with the top group up here you'll gain a lot of time from the competitors who are stuck behind but if you're stuck behind yourself you'll lose a lot of time on this because the guys in front will just take minutes if not yeah, seconds seconds if not minutes that's what i meant to say if you're not careful at that point so uh, i'll have to i'll have to uh, be aware and react and not like last time where i got stuck behind i actually did pretty well we caught up with a lot of the guys and got 8th place if I remember correctly. But I could have got better if I... I stuck with the first group and... I I, I don't know what happened, I, I thought I was in the front of the group and suddenly the group split in half and I was stuck behind even though I had a lot of energy left. I just attacked for about 2 seconds until I had a small gap to the rest of the group behind who was were all dead and had no interest in working. And then I just went solo and... I think I dropped like a lot of great riders actually on the way up. Sadly though, uh, I, I couldn't make it all the way up to the favorites, but uh, I did make it up to the group, which I think was about 5 to 5th to 12th place or something like that. Oh, no, that's not right, it's about 6. I think Basso was one of the sprints in that group. Yeah, Basso won the sprint and I got third in the sprint and Basso got a thick, I think sixth. So sixth and I got eighth. And then there's about four or five guys more after me in that group who got the same time. Of course it was Uran and Fru won the stage in front of my camera to remember who it was right now. It was there was one guy I didn't expect to be up there, I can remember. It wasn't one of, it wasn't Nibali. Nibali was chasing them and he got third, he almost catched up with the guy in second place. Was it Mulema or was it Uran? I can't actually remember. But it wasn't Uran person. Uran was uh yeah, doesn't really matter anyway. That was no it was pretty cool. Okay, it doesn't matter. Right now let's wave the flag, set the speed up and do what we always do. Protect full sign. And the rest. 
the mark can be protected as well. He still has a chance of winning the point jersey, even though there's a lot of mountain stages, so he's losing points every single day. Because, but as you can see, climber, climber, sprinter, climber, sprinter, sprinter, climber, sprint. I actually think he's a sprinter as well. Oh, he, he was in the railway, yeah. But still, it's not a lot of climbers, so sprinters still have a chance at what at some points to uh, extend the gap. And hey, you show the French champions attacking. Let's put some guys up front today. Actually, this guy, no. Uh, I'll put him, actually. And put. What do I got? I got. Kredak for the mountains. Maybe I should actually put this guy at, at work. And then put Jakobsen on Kredak. Yeah, I probably should do that and then put Elstrand. No, Edelstein is supposed to get bottles. That's how, that's how it was. And who's up front? I'll leave myself up behind Froome, I think. Probably a pretty decent placement. And Craddock as well. So we have some guys up front. Once we get to the mountains. But so far, there's not much to do in the States at all. There's six guys who are from the breakaway. And apparently we caught it as well because I'm going pretty fast. Should just relax. Just sit in peace. Not really more than that. War again. Evelyn was the third guy. Oh. Been swapped. Damn, he's really old. And Mutaguti, Isagira. They are slowly getting a lead. We are I'm sitting a pretty nice pace down here. And the Peloton. Let's send him down for some bubbles. My Spindler is just sitting all the way down here. And it doesn't really matter because... I mean... What's he going to do for me at all? Actually, I'm wondering who is in the under-25 competition. Petankur, of course. And I really don't have anybody. I have six, seven, eight riders. No. Seven. Seven riders under nine and full tank and sons. And my two top riders. I the only one who's not. Uh, falling into the class of under 25. So I really don't have anybody com com competing to win that. I don't have a single mountain fight at all. Because I ha really haven't been in a breakaway so far. Team competition. I have moved up from my last place, <laughs> which I started off with. Team Giant, who does they have? They probably have Kittle as their leader. Oh, I don't even know who that is. Oh, it's a sprinter. Russian sprinter. Don't really, they don't have anybody in the mountains. Davidens is the best guy. That's, that's just as all. If Davidens is your best guy in the mountains, and you're and so, giant is a sprinter's team. That's really all it is. They uh, they don't really have a chance in any other stages. Maybe they can pull on some surprise breakaway victories and he'll stake this with some of the riders. But they are all in for uh, Kittle to win stages for them. That's really all they have. A chance. Let's put some more pace on this because we're heading up to the first category two climb. Let's see if we can get some bottles before these all of about Nibali actually has a punch here. I mean, his teammates Vestra and Aro going back to help him up again. Now he has to move up in front of the peloton. Be, it would be pretty fun if the builds and connect. Right, right, right here. If I put immense pace on with one of them, with Sons now, builds would probably crack pretty pretty far up here. And would leave Nibbly and his team to do a lot of work. Maybe give me a chance at Oh, Hesidar, Pitl Sorti, Odyssey. Same riders as the last couple of stages. Always these guys attacking. Don't think I'm going to get up with the bubbles this time. This cry fell off. Yeah. I don't know why he always falls off. 
think I still have plenty of energy left, but okay, who cares? And I think it's going to connect soon. And I don't really have much water. I'll put yeah, cups and down for bottles. Hopefully you can make it make it work. Looks like right now it's Micah they're working for. I think Tinkoffs is running for Micah. Yeah, they're running for Micah. It's 18th overall. And she's not in the under 25 jersey, it's but some cool in the under 25 jersey. Tantomita, Sanchez. Rebelin is trying to get away. It's a gear, Montoli, it's fucked. Looks like we have two riders who are in pretty good shape. Two other riders and then uh, the late breaker is trying to catch up. Okay, Kuna goes setting pace, pace now. That means that it's slowly, the race is slowly starting to heat up. Oh, it looks like it's cracking. There's a lot of good riders down here. Montfort, Scaponi. But they did, they did make it up again. All the riders down here, of course. They're pretty much toast, and the Jakobs knows I'm lucky, and I put them at the wrong place at the wrong time. I have to admit. Greta, get the bottles. Quick, 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 quick. If I don't get any bottles, I'm probably screwed. I'll have to admit that. Sarge is so dead. If she's just sitting up front all day. Yeah, we can't do anything more than this. Quedag is dead as well. Sanchez plus Rizzo. Just hoping that I don't get caught behind. And I, I won't get caught behind because I'm sitting all the way up front and losing a lot of energy on this. Sadly enough, I really can't do much more. And this because I hope I have to. Oh, he got he got bottles, and it's Froome is tagging, Molem is tagging, Nibali is tagging. I'm stuck behind a lot of guys right now, which is really annoying. I should, I should probably try, but I, uh, I still feel like no. Let's try again. No, I, I can't get away by this. By doing this. They've used all their power. I should just hold my position and then these three guys I don't have any chance against. Uan, Bitanku and Talensky are slowly being called again by Evans, the sprint jersey. The person slowly cracking in pieces. A lot of good guys stuck behind. Hopefully I can stick around for a while. Honestly, I think the strongest guy here is Bitankur. Maybe Talansky. Bitankur? I don't think Scarponi and Evans are that strong. They probably will beat me, but uh, I still don't think they're the strongest guys in the group. Froome has completely dropped Nibali and Mulema. Froome is so overpowered in this game. <laughs> Quick about Uran on solo and about a minute in front of the rest of us. And yeah, Froome going solo. Still has a minute of a gap to Nibali. It's amazing, and honestly, that he has that much distance. Evans is attacked. Not going to apply to that. And 
Froome, won the stage. Nibali, Mulema, Uran and Evans. Not a big gap down to me. And I think I'm going to get sixth. That was actually okay, honestly. Of course, I didn't drop that many people. Maybe I should have attacked and hoped for getting some more time. Because I was in good shape today. This was probably one of the stages. I did drop some guys, honestly. But the guys I was close to in the standings, I, I didn't really gain any time on them. And of course, there's fifth, five guys in front of me. So I'm not going to get top five. I probably have to guess. But I look, I look good in the final sprint. Because Froome and Nibali uh, and Molema looks pretty untouchable so far. Well, is in the very last group. Oh, don't come. Yay, I didn't come last. <laughs> and Froome wanted the pink jersey with being sees slowly but steadily gaining more and more time for the competition. I've moved up two more places to 13th now. And I'm 10 minutes, about 10 minutes behind. I lost three minutes to Froome. And I'm four minutes from fifth place with Capone. Yeah, uh, looks looks pretty tough. I have to admit. The riders I overtook were Stigent, and who else? Was a lot of time. I think I overtook Pakovic as well. He lost a lot of time, as well as me. So if I want to get to get to, get to top ten, I think I can beat Kisodovsky. And I think I have a chance at beating Kangara and Monfort. Monfort looked weak today. But there's a lot of riders as well who I think can beat me as well. So next up is... I'll just have to check this one. Uh, sure, I'll, I'll probably drive this myself, but I won't record it. So the next one you'll see is this time trial here. A long 46 kilometers time trial. I probably will gain some time because Tulsang is a pretty decent time trialist and a defending time trial champion in Denmark. Not not the defending, a former time trial champion in Denmark. So he can do really well. But we'll see. We'll see uh, in the next video. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys. And if you enjoyed this video, I uh, would request a subscribe, a like, or a comment. I would really appreciate it. And You'll get to see more videos if you subscribe. But see you guys next video, guys. Thanks for watching. And bye.